Okay, so here I am now in my dream car. This is actually an Aston Martin, and I kind of feel a little bit like James Bond. So if I'm James Bond, the man sitting beside me surely must be Goldfinger or maybe Odd Job. It's Chris Kenny. Hello, sir. How'd you do? <laughs> it's very nice. This is great. So would this be your kind of ideal car as well? Um, yes, I suppose so. But with a roof, I need a roof. <laughs> my helmet would fly off with this, I think. <laughs> Okay, so talking about the helmet, you're, I suppose, the official tribute to Roy Chubby Brown now, aren't you? That's right. It's developed now over three years, and we've been coming to Belfast nearly two years now. And uh, Belfast people, they love the show. And every time I come, I'm amazed how it goes down very, very well with the people here. A lot of Chubby Brown fans in the, t in the city, and uh, it's great. And it, it has developed uh, now into a show which is an hour and a quarter, which is more than Chubby does on stage now, you know. All right, now you love Belfast so much, you even got married here recently, didn't you? Yes, I did. I got married in City Hall March the 19th um, to my lovely wife, Jacqueline, and uh, she fell in love with City Hall, and we brought uh, 12 people over from England and had a wonderful day, and uh, we were very proud to be married in Belfast. It was wonderful. wonderful. Okay, so tell us about uh, the Chubby Brown Show. What was it in the beginning that made you want to go out there as Chubby? Um, I've been looking at videos and watching his material for a good many years and people kept saying I look like him a little bit and then we picked a helmet up and tried it on and it looked a little bit more and now we have the grey wig which looks even more and uh, now it's more or less a double act and uh, it works very well and we've developed it over the years and um, he's got all the posters of us and uh, knows of us and he's uh, quite happy that we do in tribute to him so we do it properly it's an yeah. authentic show uh, we do have people up out of the audience so anybody in Belfast who's coming to the show they can participate in the show and become part of the show which is very very nice for us and they enjoy doing that all right now what about Chubby himself has he actually seen the show uh, no he's been told about it by um, his road manager Richard who I know reasonably well and he's quite happy with the content etc and the way we develop it um, and uh, this year he's 60 this year so he's been doing this show 30 years and uh, changing it every year and uh, he's been suffering from uh, an illness, uh, throat cancer for three years and now he's over it, he's back at full pelt and uh, working all the weekends at Blackpool. People come to see your show. I mean, can they expect to hear you singing Alice as well? Oh yes, yes, we do, Alice, and uh, we've rewritten a version of Hey Baby, and uh, we're just in the middle of rewriting uh, Is This the Way to Amarillo, <laughs> and uh, we, we'll be launching that new show in November, and uh, it'll include uh, hopefully the full Monty that Chubby does, and the Mastermind sketch, and many, many others. So hopefully a change round in the, in the new year, ready for the new year next year. All right. So once you finish here in Belfast, where are you off to next? I'm back in Belfast next Friday for another two shows, and then I'm uh, in Dover, and then I'm in Benidorm for three nights, and then I'm back into UK again, and uh, we're all over with the show. All right, great stuff. Now, before you leave the Motor Plus show today, any cars taking your fancy that you might like? Oh, I like the Bentley Silver Spur. I, li I like the Bentley. Very nice. Um, be very good if I could afford that one day, but uh, I'm afraid it's out of my price range at the minute. <laughs> but one day we may get there, but the Bentley Bentley's my dream car. Okay, well, Chris, uh, thank you for doing this, and uh, good luck with the, the Chubby Show. Thanks very much, Robin. Thank you.